welcome to the question jar series where we pick a random piece of paper and either answer a question or do a challenge. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa. Okay. What do you wish you had known before becoming an online teacher? Ooh, where to start? That's a good mm. question. I wish I could have been a little more exposed to the Chinese culture. Mm -hmm. I feel like uh, as a teacher, I could be a little more relatable in the sense that if I knew more about the music or the cultural tra traditions, uh, just even think what kind of things kids like, what books they read, what movies they watch, music, it's just I wish I could have had more a little exposure about that. So, but I'm kind of doing it gradually as I'm getting to know the students. I like to ask them, oh, which movies, which books do you like? And so it allows me to kind of research into what they're into and then try to like show some personal interest in them. I guess I wish I could have seen more other teachers teaching. Yeah. Because my first class, I really didn't know what to expect. Like, I had seen a few videos of you that we received in the training, <laughs> but nothing else. So maybe see more other experiences. Examples. I'd have to say for me, when I started teaching online, it, I don't know, it was a very terrible pay. <laughs> but I think it's just, when you start as an online teacher, you have to be ready to start at the bottom from there. Um, just gradually gain more experience and then you'll have more privileges, more tasks to do. Um, so I guess don't expect everything to be perfect with your first online job. And your first online job is not necessarily the one you'll keep forever. I'm really glad I found Wales English because that suits my personality much better in my schedule than the first job I had. So. Yeah, good advice. So thank you for watching. Now we would like to hear from you. Comment below to share your ideas. Bye. 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 Bye.